Hey guys, this is Desert Alchemist, and this video is going to be about a little trip me and my brother Rene made down in Nogales, Sonora, Mexico. And the trip was uh, meant so that we could throw out some trash for my mom's house, which is undergoing repairs. And so we went to this landfill approximately 10 miles outside of Nogales. And um, we noticed that the landscape was looking really promising. It was super green, uh, nice and wet. It's the beginning of the monsoons. And um, I told them we should check it out and go see if we can find some mushrooms. In this video, I'm going to focus on small species of fungi that we found, some of which are very exotic and unusual, so I decided to share them with you guys so you could learn about these. So we pulled over on the side of the road, and I picked a nice hill with a ravine that had running water. We walked down the slope, and there was still a little bit of trash down there because we were still close to the landfill. Um, but we started finding many animal bones, uh, a lot of canine skeletons, to my delight, because I always seem to find these uh, skulls and bones when looking for mushrooms. These are two of my favorite things. If you ever get a chance to go to my house, you can see my skull collection. But fun fact, you know, I took these skulls um, across the border, and I thought they were dogs, but the Border Patrol confiscated them because they ended up being uh, coyote uh, skulls. Um, but as we looked for mushrooms, I started, um, making jokes about, uh, praying to the mushroom god, uh, the Aztec mushroom god, Nanakatsin, and I asked them to show us mushrooms and to bless us. And then as soon as we reached this small area, uh, small lake area that we got to, the mushrooms started revealing themselves to us. The first mushroom we found was a spring polypore. This is a small mushroom called Lentinus arcularius. It has very um, big, prominent pores on the bottom. These were everywhere. And I had just seen these a couple days prior in Madera Canyon in Arizona. So uh, I was very familiar with it. And we were glad to see these mushrooms out here because the terrain looked so unpromising and rocky that we weren't really hoping for much. Lentinus arcularius is an edible mushroom, although very small and not palatable, due to its tough flesh. Around the same area where we found that first mushroom, we noticed that there were a lot of cow patties, and this got us a little excited because we're always hoping to find that lucky cow patty that has entheogenic mushrooms, and uh, in this case it was not so, but we did find the mushroom growing on the patties, not the one we were looking for, but we found an interesting little mushroom called the conica, which is a dung-loving mushroom called Deconica coprophilia. This mushroom was once categorized under the psilocybe genus, but in the late 2000s it was transferred to the genus Deconica. And this mushroom is pretty easy to identify, or at least pretty common, because it is one of the most common mushrooms that grows on cow patties. It's just a small brown mushroom uh, with an umbrella shape, as you can see from the picture. So my brother called my attention to another mushroom which was around that same area and I consider this next mushroom kind of rare and exotic because it's got one of the most bizarre anatomies and it makes you wonder why nature would make a mushroom or any organism have this shape because it's just so crazy looking but it's pretty cool and it's called a bird's nest fungus and aptly named so because it resembles a bird's nest with eggs inside and here is a clip of our finding of this. In Mexico, if you can see these mushrooms, um, they're tiny, but this is called bird's nest. And these mushrooms are tiny. And they pop out of the ground and they're closed at the beginning like these right here. They're closed. But then um, later when they mature, they open up and they have all these little eggs inside. Um, it's called a bird's nest fungus. And these little sacks of, um, that look like eggs actually contain millions of spores. So when it rains, it hits the sacks and they release all these spores. So this is a really cool find. My brother uh, was looking for something else and he found this. But I think I'm going to take a couple of these home if I can. They're super tiny. Look how big, how tiny they are compared to my finger. Super tiny. But yeah, that's the bird's nest uh, fungus. And we're going to keep looking for more. Hopefully we find some bullets or something.
briefly after the bird's nest fungus, we were looking around at this lake bed, and there was a giant fallen log on the floor. And as I was walking around in there, I noticed a mushroom um, that at first looked to me like a turkey tail. But then I got closer to it and I looked on the underside of the mushroom and I realized it was a type of sturium, uh, also known as the false turkey tail, which grows on fallen logs or even on the stumps of trees. And this mushroom is not really necessarily a small species, but since we only found a few fungi, I decided to include it and because it looks pretty interesting, it's in the video. Last, as we were leaving the area, I looked down on the floor and I noticed a strange shape that looked like an egg. So I decided to get a closer look and I poked it with my finger and it felt like jelly. So I told my brother, this definitely has to be a mushroom. I picked it and here's a video of what happened. Okay, interesting find. I think what I'm looking at here is a type of puffball. I'm about to verify this though because it's, more. it's really jelly like look yep lycoperdon in mexico interesting there's, more. there's a few more a type of puffball here's another one not sure exactly what species of uh lycoperdon this is but um we're i guess i'll find out look at these beautiful patterns i don't think i've seen one with these patterns um I have to do some research to find out exactly what it is. But this is a the puffball, a type of puffball. Lycoperdon means wolf fart. Uh, usually when you squeeze these, they release um, a little stream, a little gust of spores, and it kind of looks like a, a fart, I guess. Um, <laughs> so they call these um, wolf farts. This is a beautiful... Um, interesting mushroom. Some of these are edible. I'm not sure about this species, but uh, I'm gonna keep looking and uh, we'll get back to you guys later. I will post the name of this um, mushroom once once I um, figure out what it is. I'll post it on the video. So here you go. Buff ball. They just look like weird balls growing on the ground. Here's some babies. Here's our fresh one. This one looks like the type that grows really big. Sometimes these puffballs, they can get as big as a basketball. And you can see some of those in a picture, in my pictures if you check out my Facebook. But anyways, here you go, puffball. This mushroom is in the genus Lycoperdon, which is a type of small puffball genuses. I wasn't able to identify the exact species uh, even though it closely resembles the mosaic puffball, but a mosaic puffball with a purplish bluish tint in the background. I'm not sure exactly what kind of uh, species this is, but if anybody knows, please leave a comment or the name on the section below and help me out because I wasn't able to figure it out. Like I said, this is a type of puffball. And there are many types of puffballs, um, like the Calvatia. Those puffballs can get as big as a basketball. But the ones in, in this video are not in the same genus as those. These are typically uh, very small fungi, small puffballs. Well, guys, that's all the mushrooms that we found on this little trip. I think this place has a lot of good potential for other mushrooms. So we're definitely going to come back in the near future and see what else is going to grow here because it was so green. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you for your support. Also, you can check out my other social media for more information on mushrooms and other updates as well as watching other videos. Thank you.